Good morning, Pioneer Nation. It is time for the Pioneer Update. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank. They are people first, and that's fabulous because here at the Batesville School District, we are students first. This morning, I have our Federal Programs Director, Dr. Zach Harbour. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Megan. It's good to be here. Oh, we're so happy to have you. We actually have a really, really important assessment that we're needing our parents and even our students and our staff to fill out. So tell us a little bit about that and why it's so important. So the Batesville School District conducts a needs assessment each year. Uh, It's a federal compliance requirement, but we see it as more than that. We see it as an opportunity to garner information from our community members, our stakeholders. So we're, we're seeking input from our staff members from our students and from our parents. This information will be used for decision making. So we plan on creating goals for this upcoming academic year are going to help us spend our funds most effectively. It's going to allow each of our buildings to create a plan that's going to best serve their, uh, the unique needs of their student population. Excellent. So you're referring to the funds that are out of Title I, which are specifically connected to the curriculum. So with that, depending upon what the survey says, that's how we'll spend that money at each campus? Absolutely. Okay. Each one of our school districts serves a unique population. The diversity is is the way to look at that. And Batesville Schools receives federal funding based upon those those students and their unique needs and challenges that are associated with those needs. So um, depending upon what their academic needs are, whether there be learning gaps, you know, the way we look at this is uh, we have resources uh, to be able to secure the tools that, that go above and beyond, whether that's tutoring services, hiring extra help, hiring those that can speak other languages to, to assist those, uh, those student needs. With the way we look at it is going above and beyond for our students, and these resources will help us do that. Right. Well, there's no barrier then. The entire purpose is for there not to be a barrier for those students. And I think what I what I love about this, and I know that we're the tide is changing, we're refocusing with new administration, and now is the time to voice your opinion through these surveys because you as a parent are having the opportunity to give us what's going on inside of your home. And the wonderful thing is that you have this available in both English and Spanish so that it can accommodate all of our families to get the best results possible because this data is literally going to drive the way that the resources are given to our kids. So it's so, so imperative that people take the time to fill this out. What is the deadline for this? The deadline to complete this survey in order for us to look at all of the data is October 2nd. So the deadline to complete the needs assessment survey is October 2nd. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to be push, push, pushing. So expect something on Remind. Expect something on Parent Square. Check it out on social media. And please, whenever we ask you for these things, it's because we care and we definitely want to continue putting our students first. Absolutely. Thanks, Megan. You bet. Thank you so much for coming in. As we always like to say, it's a great day to be a pioneer.